this summer vacation, I got to travel to the Golden Sky Bridge, where I was able to try the canyon swing that takes you all the way from here to here. All right, so I'm just gonna double check one of these connections. This was such a fun experience to swing on a huge pendulum. And then I realized we could figure out how big this is with physics. When a pendulum swings back and forth, the time it takes to swing is related to its length by this equation. There's quite a few variables here. However, the two pi and gravity are all constants. So therefore, if you know the time, you can figure out the length. So let's do a quick rearrangement by dividing that two pi. Then we're gonna square both sides. So square the t over two pi, multiply by g, and now we have our equation to solve for the length of this big pendulum. Okay, so let's try and get the time from the video. I can't use the initial fall because it was pulled up higher than the pendulum's normal swing. But let's take a half swing back. We can see it coming across the canyon, and that took about 6.33 seconds. Now that was for a half swing. So let's double that, plug that number into our equation, and we get 39.8 meters as the length of the pendulum for the canyon swing.